I'm having a beautiful start to your September. I am overjoyed to kick off the autumn season together. This is absolutely one of my favorite times of year. I find autumn to be especially cozy and full of tons of creature comforts and a reoccurring theme in my life is I absolutely love to stay rooted in the season and I feel like focusing on the special and novelties of each time of year really helps life feel more celebrated and helps me be more present. So I'm really looking forward to celebrating and enjoying the season together. So today we are going to go shop and browse around the stores to see what different autumn decor and styles are out and about so we'll explore and then I want to come back home and I'll show you my full autumn home decor collection. We have quite the collection going so I really don't want to purchase too many things today it really is more browsing around and I did write down a few pieces that I thought might be great additions so we have a few on the agenda that hopefully we'll find and then I also want to prep the home so I want to put away anything that we specifically put out for spring and summer so we can make way for all the pumpkins and all of the autumn pieces so here's the agenda some places that I want to pop into are the thrift store I would love to start out there to see if there's any thrifted finds that we can add. And then I want to go to Target, Home Goods, maybe World Market, maybe Kirkland's. We'll see. And then I also need to go buy Walgreens because I printed out a photograph for one of our frames in the entryway. I'm going to switch out the art to reflect the time of year. So we have that. Hopefully it turns out okay. And then the last stop I want to go to is the library and see if we can find any autumnal themed books to use as decoration, but also that we can enjoy and read throughout the upcoming months. So that's what we have going on, but really excited to spend time with you all. We pulled out the autumn bins from the garage last night so I could do an overview and be reminded of what we already have. Oh, I just love all these color tones so much and the dried floral that was a staple in our decorating last season. So thankfully everything seemed to hold up okay throughout the summer in the garage, but super excited to play around with all of this. And some other pieces that I hope to find, I would love to get some twinkle lights so we could add that into this mushroom basket. I think that would be a really cute touch. And then I'd love some taper candles, probably just some regular autumn candles as well and then a throw for my office and then maybe some vintage books that could be fun and let me think there was one more thing oh I would love to find a small lamp so last autumn we actually found this lamp at Target that I've kept in our living room ever since and I'd love to find another sort of lamp that we can put in this section so either on that little side table or a standing lamp behind this chair i don't know we'll see what we can find treat to accompany us on our shopping adventures this is truly a taste of autumn it's from a local coffee shop but it is their autumn inspired drink and it has cinnamon nutmeg chaga it's absolutely delightful and this coffee shop is attached to a florist shop so I browsed around a bit there it is always so inspiring I love their collection and they had this really neat flower ball display where they had basically these dried florals in a sphere like shape hanging from the ceiling and I thought that was so stunning and definitely some inspiration especially for the autumn party. I have this tradition to host a gathering on the first day of autumn, the autumnal equinox. So I think that might be a really cool thing to try to recreate. So we're brainstorming, we're getting excited and now we're at the thrift store. So this is our first stop of the day and I'm feeling hopeful. Hopefully we'll find some treasures here. a tea kettle for autumn but this is a beautiful one I love the green color Ooh. 
This is really pretty, but it's quite large, so I'm not sure where I would put it. I'm happy to report the thrift shop was a success. It was really neat because they had it organized in the front for Halloween, specifically Halloween costumes, and they had it divided in different sections for classic and common Halloween outfit ideas, and I thought that was just really neat and helpful. And we found some homeware gems, I can't wait to show you. And I just stopped at the garden center to pick up some compost for the garden, so we got that out of the way. And now I'm gonna pop into Joanne Fabrics because I, I feel like they're very underrated when it comes to home decor, specifically seasonal home decor. Of course, I think of them naturally as a craft store because that's what they are, but I also know they have really cute seasonal pieces and I typically like the design and aesthetic of it all. So we'll see what we can find. And the lineup is Joanne and then Let's go to Kirkland's and then we'll go to Home Goods, maybe World Market, and finally Target will be our last stop of the day before the library. So that's the lineup. Let's get to it. These are super cute, but not the softest. I also like this mat a lot, but I think I'm gonna hold out for one that's a bit thicker. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem? If I posted a letter Is it maybe because I never knew Quite where I was And suddenly Today we are at the library also let it be known it is currently 94 degrees outside it is so toasty we are really channeling our imagination to get in the autumn spirit but I feel like that's part of the reason why I love doing all of these fall activities so much is because I do live in a warm climate so you absolutely have to create more of an atmosphere for yourself to really feel the seasons and kind of set the scene for yourself but we're making the most of it and I'm excited to see what the library has. Mama's <laughs> checking out 
all the goodies we found out and about. I'll do a full haul of everything we picked up today and then I'll do an overview of our collection from previous years. So many goodies. Let's start out with the thrift store finds. I'm so thankful we were able to find pieces that really fit with what I was going for. So this first item, it is so cute. This glittery leaf tray. I think this is perfect for hosting, for snacks, and depending on what happens when we decorate, I'll play around with it. But I might style this in the entryway table and it can be kind of like a catch-all plate for the season or maybe on a coffee table. This is a very versatile piece. And again, I just thought it was so perfect. I love the color shade of it and it's always so exciting when you're thrift sh thrift shopping for something specific or a specific type of scene and you find something it really is a true treasure hunt and then the next little piece is this cookware it is so charming i like the pinky tone and then the darker orange in the center i need to peel back the sticker to read here's the brand and it's made in italy which is super super neat and i also like thinking of the potential history of thrifted finds maybe someone even bought this while they were traveling in italy or maybe it was a family piece it makes you think and it's fun to kind of romanticize the history of it all and then this last piece was a very exciting find it is also where is this made is this made in Italy as well? Oh, it's kind of tricky to read it. It has, it's stamped on the bottom, but I can't fully make out. Oh, it says Boston Warehouse Trading Core. Oh yeah, I can't quite make out what that says. Maybe you'll be able to see it. I don't know if you can even, maybe it's even harder to read on, probably harder to read on camera. But it's this fun dish. I love the pumpkin handle at the top. I thought that's super cute. And yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I don't, the tricky thing is I don't know for sure if I can put this in the oven. I don't know if it's oven safe. I'll probably just err on the side of caution and not put it in the oven. But yeah, I thought this was a really neat piece for serving and hosting. So those are the three thrift store finds. And I also pulled out other items that I've ordered or I picked up at different stores throughout the past month or so. And one of those items, this is one of my favorite items that I've found so far, this mushroom basket. I think it is so beyond precious. I found this originally on Etsy from a vintage store. And she only had one available so i was trying to find other sources because of course i always want to try to find um different links in case other people want to find it or purchase it themselves and i saw this on amazon anthropology a lot of different places so that's good at least if you're trying to add this to your collection but you could use it as a purse <laughs> as a a shelf styling piece a centerpiece I think I might use it as our centerpiece for the table we'll see we'll see I haven't fully or I might put it on the shelves in my office because again like I mentioned I would love to add twinkle lights to this to, so that it can kind of glow at night and at, since it has the cute window and door I think that'll look quite lovely so this was a great find and mushrooms are having their moment they are absolutely having their moment speaking of i got these mushrooms from world market these are the only things i found at world market but they had such cute items but nothing else that was really calling my name and again i wanted to be more particular this year because we have quite the collection already but these bali mushrooms are so stunning and it was neat because all of them looked a little different and I like the height difference. They'll be cute styled together or we might put them in two different places. We shall see. And then let me show you the art print that I printed at Walgreens. So this art print was a digital download from Etsy and I think it is absolutely stunning. So last year I got an art print as well that I switched out in our entryway because right now we have 
a coastal beach print, which I love, and it's beautiful all year round, but I do like to switch out the photograph to reflect the time of year. And last year I did pumpkins, which it was really cute, but I wanted something a bit softer this year. So this is what we went with. Oh, it's getting a little bit of a reflection. It's this gorgeous kind of vintage inspired art print with a lake and trees, a bit more moody. So I like it. I hope it meshes okay with everything else, but we still have the pumpkin print as well. So if we wanna keep that one, we can, but I thought this was quite gorgeous. Okay, now for a few pieces that I ordered from Amazon actually. So the first is this dishcloth set and I love the texture of it. It's so soft, comes in a set of two. This would actually be a really cute gift as well. It's packaged and wrapped very nicely. And I'm very particular with our dishcloths, our kitchen towels, because oftentimes I find them not to be absorbent. And granted, I haven't tested these out yet, but I can just tell by feeling it that it's nice and thick and absorbent. So these will be great to keep by the sink or hang on the oven. So we have that. And then I also ordered this absolutely beautiful marble tray. So this is a bit more of a moody marble. I love the different color tones in it. And I don't have a specific place for this either, but it's one of those pieces that is very versatile. Be cute to put a candle on it and maybe little pumpkins and we could put this in the living room, the kitchen, my office. Again, we'll have fun finding a home for this piece. And a couple other things from Amazon. I ordered this essential oil from Plant Therapy. This is one of my favorite essential oil brands. Granted, I am not an expert whatsoever, but as far as I know, this is a great brand and it's the cinnamon scent. It is very potent, but in a good way. Mm, very pleasant. We'll keep this in the laundry room so we can diffuse that throughout the season. And then I also ordered this silk ribbon in this mustard color. If you were here for Christmas last year, and watch that decorating video. I was in love with silk ribbon. I pretty much added it everywhere I could. So I thought it might be fun to carry that through to autumn. And I can also use this for Christmas as well because I like to add some gold and yellow tones, but it's a super pretty ribbon. So we can add this to different details throughout the home. Okay, now for a couple things from Anthropology. The first one is this glass cup. This will be great for our iced lattes throughout the year. And it's just a really beautiful design. I love the detail along the rim as well. So that's a great one. And then also this mixing bowl, which will come in handy for our baking days. But I also think I'll keep this out on the floating shelves potentially because it's a, such a beautiful piece. Now for Joanne finds. The first is this art piece, which I'm not 100% sure on this because I don't know where I'm gonna put it. And that's the beauty about all of the places I went shopping pretty much, yeah, I think all of them, is I can return items if we don't end up using them and change our mind. It is great to be able to have that flexibility. So this piece, the mushrooms are just <laughs> getting me. I think they're so adorable. And it says autumn days are here again. I love the embroidery and texture it adds. So I have an idea for this, but not totally sure if it'll come to fruition or if I'll like how it looks. So again, we'll see, but I thought that was beautiful and everything was 60% off. So that was great. And then a kitchen towel. Again, I'm very particular with the consistency and they've got to be absorbent. And this one definitely seems like it will be. And I liked the darker color because our kitchen towels do get quite messy because we use them quite frequently. Okay, and then last but not least, Target. Okay, oh, and Home Goods. I didn't get one thing from Home Goods, which is quite surprising. I feel like typically Home Goods is my spot, is my place where I find all of the autumn and fall gems, but it wasn't anything that really spoke to me and nothing on our list. They did have some beautiful lamps that I liked, but None of them were like, oh yes, this is the one. So I left Home Goods empty handed, but we did find a couple things from Target. So the first were these vase fillers, again, with the mushrooms. <laughs> I'm gonna cut myself off with the mushrooms because I don't wanna go overboard, but 
These base fillers are precious. This is another item though where I don't have a particular spot for it. So we'll see if we don't have the spot, it's going back to the store and someone else can get it. And then the second thing is this throw. That was something that was on my list. I wanted another throw for to keep in my office throughout the season. And I thought this one was quite beautiful. I love the color tones and the texture. And you can see there's little flecks of orange as well, which I loved that detail. And I think it'll tie in nicely with our other components. And then last but not least, we have the library. And it was tricky to find autumn inspired books from the library. I typically do this sort of hunt for seasonally inspired books in springtime and that is pretty effortless because in springtime you think of gardening and flowers and our library has quite the collection of gardening books so in the past i've just gotten gardening books and that works out perfectly but for autumn i kept typing in two uh, keywords in the search engine of the library catalog and a lot of children's books were coming up, which is great, but of course I don't need to check out children's books right now. Save them for the kids. And then, yeah, nothing was really coming up. So I was a little confused and then, or confused and lost of what to do because I could just scan every shelf, but that would take a while. And so I talked to one of the librarians and I asked her where the poetry section was and they had a small little section. So. That was a great place to start and I found this book. It's not necessarily autumn inspired, but I just, it perked my interest. It's the Jane Austen Writers Club and it's inspiration and advice from the world's best loved novelist. So I am a Jane Austen fan and would love to browse through this book and see and learn more about her life. So that was a neat find. It's cute. It's a really cute book. There's little illustrations in different sections. So yeah, I thought I would check that out. And then the second one I'm also excited about. So this is a poetry book and it's actually a collection of poet poems that encompass a woman's journey. So it's a really cool concept. And essentially the author, well, there's many different authors because it's a collection of poems, but Caroline Kennedy who put together this book she created these different prompts and sections. So there's a section on falling in love. There's a section on breaking up and marriage and let's see, beauty, clothes and things of the world and work So and motherhood. So I thought that was a really neat concept and what really sold me and what ties it together to fall time is on page 300. There is a poem called September. So I thought I would read that. It says, oh, and this poem is by Amy Lowell and it was written in 1918. The afternoon was the color of water falling through sunlight. The trees glittered with the tumbling of leaves. The sidewalks shone like alleys of dropped maple leaves and the horses ran along them laughing out of square, open windows. Under a tree in the park, two little boys lying flat on their faces we're carefully gathering red berries to put in a pasteboard box. Someday there will be no war, then I shall take out this afternoon and turn it in my fingers and remark the sweet taste of it upon my palate and note the crisp variety of the flights of leaves. Today I can only gather it and put it in my lunchbox, for I have time for nothing but the endeavor to balance myself upon a broken world. Isn't that beautiful? I loved that. And it's, it's so lovely to read the title September and read this woman's thoughts and musings of it all. So I thought this was a fun find as well and I'm excited to browse around some of the other poems, but what a special day. I always love these days. They really just feel like such a kickoff to the season and I'm so thankful and excited for what's in store. So let me organize the rest of our autumn collection and I'll give you a look at that in case you're looking for any other sources of where I've found things. Okay, here's the overview. It is clearly a plethora of pumpkins. I'm gonna to try to run through this quickly. So a lot of these pieces I've had for years, which is so special. It really brings back memories. This is one of my favorite pieces. This is a home goods find and it's a tea kettle slash 
mug set and I love how it stacks up on one another. And then these spoons are a Hobby Lobby find. I also love these for the coffee bar section. And this cute little dish is from Ross. This is from Home Goods last year. Super cute. And then I added some additional dried florals. I believe this is a Target find. And then this is also a Target find. This is from Pottery Barn. So beautiful. This I've had for so long. I feel like it might be Home Goods, but I could be mistaken. This is Home Goods. This is Home Goods. It's kind of falling apart. Oh yeah, Palmer last year. He really loved that pumpkin a little too much. So it's seen better days. And then this I actually ordered last year and I think I got it from Amazon, but I'm sure a variety of bookstores have it. But this is another poetry book and it's a poem for every day in autumn. And then we have this bowl, which I believe is from Home Goods. These woven pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby last year, and as well as these cute candles. Those are also Hobby Lobby. This pillow is Target. This pillow is Home Goods. This garland is Home Goods. This is one of my first autumn decorations. So this one definitely brings back memories. This is from Kirkland's, I believe. It's very substantial, so I could even put that outside this year. And this gorgeous dish is from Pottery Barn and I just leave it on the cooktop all season because <laughs> it's such a statement piece and incredible quality. This pumpkin is actually from the flower shop that I took you earlier today. Brandon got it for me a couple days ago because I was having kind of a down day and so that was a really sweet gift and it smells incredible. And then these dried florals that was a big theme of mine last year. I love, love, love the dried florals. And these are, let's see, I'm pretty sure they're all from Home Goods. And then I think a couple of them are from a local florist shop, but I love the dried florals. And then these paper goods, I actually purchased this here from Joann's. I forgot to show you. I didn't get them today. I got them a couple weeks ago, but those are gonna be great for hosting. And then I have these candles from Glass House Candles, and it smells so good. We have an in-season one, that's what it's called, and then Sweet Enough, and they both smell divine. We have this reusable pumpkin canister that I found at Home Goods, and I always put pumpkin, pureed pumpkin in this container and keep it in the fridge because I love to use the pureed pumpkin for a variety of things, baking, dog treats, etc. It's fun to have it around. And then these pumpkins, these are some of my favorites also. This is a DIY we did last year. It was a for the home DIY. Christine, she made up the DIY and it was one of my favorite projects because they're so cute, these cute pumpkin pillows. And Kirkland's had a very similar look to these today. So that's really neat, but I'll link the video where we made them last year. And then the last thing is this wreath, which I just left on the floor for now, but this we put on the kitchen hood, vent hood, and I loved the color it added to our kitchen. So I'll probably do that again this year. And that's something on my list too. Oh, and this is from Home Goods. And that's something else on my list that I wasn't able to find today. I didn't see one I loved, but I would love to find a wreath for the front door. The final task on today's agenda, I just want to go through and pick up anything that we specifically decorated the home with for spring and summer. There really isn't much. It's it's a great, clean, simple palette for all the autumn decor. But specifically on these shelves behind me, we have some spring pieces that I wanna put away for the season and we'll make room for all the pumpkins. So we'll just do a quick walk through and it shouldn't take long. And I think I'll be able to store everything in this bench that I'm sitting on at our breakfast nook and I won't need to store anything in the garage, so that's super convenient. Here's our sweet little spring collection. I'm gonna store the wine glasses in the cupboard and then these pieces I'll store in the bench that I mentioned on there and my book probably. And then these I like to keep accessible because they're pretty handy when it comes to baking. And I also pulled out these pieces. So these are the glasses that I thrifted last year, which I love, which I'll probably, ooh, that little clink. I'll probably 
style them up here on the shelves that's where the wine glasses the colorful wine glasses just were so that would be a great seamless transition and i also wanted to show you these adorable little soup cups that i found from urban outfitters i love the mushroom element of course and it is very practical to have a cover on your soup so it stays nice and warm i wanted to pull them out because i had them in the cupboard but I wanted to be reminded that these could potentially be a cute decor piece as well. That's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for spending time with me and shopping around. I'm so excited to kick off this autumn season together and I really hope that you and yours have a beautiful fall season full of sweet moments and memories and cozy adventures, but I'm so grateful for you and looking forward to the rest of the celebrations, but I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you next. Bye!